Supergiant Games revealed Hades 2 at the Game Awards on December 8th in 2023. The game follows the new protagonist Melanoi in her quest to rescue her father, Hades, and defeat the Titan Kronos. The trailer did an excellent job of introducing Melanoi and setting up the central conflict. However, she's not the only named character in the trailer, which likely represents only a fraction of the game's cast. While fans don't have a complete list of everyone appearing in the game, here's everything revealed so far about the characters in Supergiant's upcoming roadmap. First off, the main character and the princess of the underworld, Melanoi. Voiced by Judy Alice Lee, Melanoi is the protagonist of Hades 2 and the daughter of the Greek god Hades and the goddess Persephone. This also makes Melanoi the granddaughter of Kronos and the little sister of Hades' protagonist, Zagreus, sharing his mismatched red and green eyes. However, her most striking physical feature is her left arm, which is green and transparent, revealing the bone underneath. The cause of her spectral limb is unknown, but will likely be explained during the game. Next up, Hecate, the headmistress. Voiced by Amelia Taylor, Hecate is the goddess of witchcraft, necromancy, and crossroads, and serves as Melanoi's mentor in Hades 2. Fans first see her fighting Melanoi in the Hades 2 trailer before their battle is revealed to be a training exercise. Her towering frame and witch-like appeal give Hecate a sinister look, however she appears to be on Melanoi's side and is the one who sent her on her quest. Following that we have Moros, Doom Incarnate. Voiced by Sterling Suleiman, Moros is the god of doom and one of Melanoi's allies in her battle against Kronos. He appears appears only briefly in the Hades 2 trailer, telling Melanoi that she has an excellent opportunity to make things better for all of us. It's unclear if he'll offer any new boons in Hades 2. Next up we have Apollo, God of Light. Voiced by Colin Ryan, Apollo is one of Melanoi's allies and offers her boons in Hades 2. Ancient Greeks associated Apollo with archery and music, and Supergiant included both into its depiction of Apollo, giving him a golden bow with multiple lyre strings. Next we have Nemesis, Retribution Incarnate. Voiced by Becca Q. Co, Nemesis is Moros' sister and another of Melanoi's allies in Hades 2. As the goddess of retribution, she's traditionally associated with justice and divine punishment, especially in cautionary tales about pride. However, the Romans also associated Nemesis with soldiers and gladiators and revered her as a personification of imperial justice. As such, Nemesis is depicted as a muscular warrior goddess clad in vaguely Roman-looking armor. Following that, we have Dora the Listless Shade. Voiced by Aaron Yvette, Dora is a shade that Melano interacts with during her quests. Unfortunately, there's not much available information about Dora or her role in the story. However, her brief appearance in the trailer indicates that she's on somewhat friendly terms with Melano. Next up, we have Hades, God of the Dead. Voiced by Logan Cunningham, Hades is the king of the underworld, god of the earth's mineral riches, and Melanoi and Zagreus' father. Hades was an antagonist in the first game, serving as its final boss. However, he and Zagreus eventually develop a degree of mutual respect, and while little is known about Melanoi's relationship with her father, it does appear to be as openly antagonistic. Then we have Zeus, king of the Olympians. Voiced by Peter Canaves, Zeus rules the gods of Olympus and is Hades' younger brother. He became the king of gods after overthrowing Kronos and imprisoning the Titans in Tartarus. The first game also reveals that Zeus was the one who sent Persephone to Hades as a consolation prize, an act that Hades resented and feared would lead to war between the gods. Lastly, we have Kronos, Titan of Time. Kronos doesn't appear anywhere in Hades, however the Titans are referenced throughout the first Hades with the titular god commenting on their cruelty. He, and possibly other Titans, serve as Hades 2's antagonists with Melanoi swearing to kill him in the game's trailer. Now go. Death to Kronos. Death to Kronos. So that was all we know right now about the characters that will star in Hades 2. We look forward to its launch. Thanks for watching.